Oh my crikey, there has been a major, major development inside the tank there. Do you remember the Terror Hawks expect the unexpected? Well, it's happened in the tank. Warning. The warning on this video has been removed, and this video is highly educational. It's the 30th of May, and it was the 28th when Bindi disappeared. Today was the day I uploaded the video when I showed putting the Praying Mantis into this tank. Okay, there's nothing under there. We're going to take a look inside here. Now, we're looking for a Praying Mantis, okay? I can't see a Praying Mantis anywhere here. We're going to take a look under here. Oh, there's a giant cockroach there. Or cockle roach, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. What's underneath here? That's, well, Bindi's, there's a cricket there. That's Bindi's old home. Of course, Bindi vaporized, well, two days back. Okay, we'll take that piece and we'll just put it over the side. Without the cricket in there, get rid of that over there somewhere. So there's a view of our, our beautiful cockroach. It's actually been in here for quite some time. I remember I picked it up in the backyard and I put it into Bindi's tank when Bindi was in there. And I thought Bindi would uh, see that as a wonderful meal, but it somehow survived. Now I took a look at the tank this morning, I saw the mantis up there, we haven't given it a name yet, have we? <laughs> uh, it normally hung up there, it would be waiting to latch onto something, as they do, that's the way they work. And then this afternoon I came and looked at the tank, and this is what I'm presented with. I can't see a sign of the mantis in there at all, and that had me really, really puzzled. I'm actually starting to suspect the culprit is right in the middle of the screen there. Now I'm taking a very close look at this uh, critter here. Uh, has it lost one of its antennas? I notice it's got a long antenna and one which looks like it's missing. Was it like that before? Hmm, what is it doing? Why is it cleaning itself? Why does it look all of a sudden very happy? Do you think it looks a bit fatter? My crikeys, I've got a sneaky suspicion this is one of the major, major killers in the tank. And I know you're going to be starting to say, well, Leo, it can't be. These Don't these things eat vegetables and stuff? No, they're omnivores. They basically eat whatever they like. And I've got no idea what it's doing at the moment, but it's not looking pretty. I've got a big shock, I can tell you. I'm expecting to see a, you know, a sizable green praying mantis in here. It looks like it's totally gone. But then I had a look at this metal framework here. Let me just show you some things that I noticed laying on here. Okay, this is exhibit one. That's a leg of something. I'm hoping people in the audience can ID this. It's quite small. I'm looking for well, bits of green as a component there of something. I reckon this is cockroach. I don't think the red backs work like that. What do you think that is, hey? I know someone in the audience will tell me it could be a bit of cricket. It could be a little bit of mantis. So that was there. This is like CSI critter tank. We're going to take a look down another arm down here. Okay, this is quite a curious piece and I'll just move it around a bit so you can see what it is. Hopefully you can ID what this is. It, to me it feels a bit soft in a sense that it's fresh. But I thought if it's a piece of mantis, wouldn't it be green? Or is that a piece of cricket? Mm, I just hope someone who knows what they're looking at can ID that piece for me. Just along from the piece we looked at, there's quite a curious piece here. And it's black in colour. Let's take a look at that. Okay, there's that piece there. Now it's funny. Now I've not seen the mantis here. I'm thinking maybe Bindi was taken out by, well, something different. Uh, expect the unexpected. Okay, well, I hope you see what that is there. Who knows? It's a component of something. And all the time I'm looking at components here. Look how that cockroach there is cleaning its uh, one antenna it's got there. I'm very suspicious about it, I can tell you. I believe it's a monster. Now one thing I noticed is, remembering this piece was always in here and it was like a little cubby hole for that cockroach. It seemed very comfortable in there. And when I remove that, where I find all the components of other critters, it's out on the, the arms here of the metal structure. Just about every arm's got, well, basically a component of a critter. And I'm really suspecting that's the culprit. And I say that because this is where this critter loves to reside. It loved to be up on this metal piece here. The redback spider, when it was doing its stuff, was down on its web and it would be dropping the components. Once it's had its feet, it basically drops it down uh, to the floor down there. And if you do look down on the floor, there's all bits and bobs of what uh, Bindi had had over the months. The part that's got me perplexed is how can the man is literally, well, seemingly just vaporize? 
Uh, it was the same with Bindi. Bindi just seemed to not be in there at all. It's a bit like I couldn't. I was looking for legs and you know a component. Um, surely, whatever's you know doing the dirty work in there can't dispose of everything. I thought there might have been like the, the wing left over the mantis. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll pick up this bad boy here. I'll get it into a box. Okay, I'll pull the metal framework out and we'll take a very close look at what's going on down on the floor. I just flick the giant cockroach into the box here and I'll just gently put it somewhere over there. If you recall earlier, there was this mystery thing that was up in the egg cart. Maybe I need to investigate a bit more of what this is. I've got no idea uh, who laid this up. I'm not, not an entomologist, as you know. But maybe I've got to start to understand what's going on in here and we'll just pull this apart. It's like a woven thing. Oh, crikey, sometimes you don't want to know, isn't it? What is that? It's hard and crusty what's inside there. It's like a woven thing around it. Oh my crikeys. Okay. I have got no idea what that is. I'll need someone in the audience to explain that one for me. It's weird. Part of me is thinking, this is my own personal thought, because it's woven up, it's some style of moth thing. It's very hard. I'm trying to describe it to you. It's like a little rock. I'll put it down the bottom there. It might become feed for someone, and I'll get this metal structure out. Okay, I have the metal structure out. Let me get rid of those veggies there, because it's going to be a little bit too much visual distraction. A uh, curious side note is the Chocos have been in here for a long time. Notice they basically haven't been touched, they haven't broken down. Yeah, it says much about Chocos, doesn't it? I can tell you. I'm not a fan of them. Okay, I've removed the visual distraction from the bottom of the tank there. It's basically just dirt and some critters and critter parts, we hope. Let's see what we can find. Now I'm just going to take the camera across, like scanning it across like this. And remember the prime Manus is well well it was green it's past tense now uh bindi was black and we're, it's a little bit like looking for a needle in a haystack you just um you're gonna tell me if you see something aren't you there's something i see it's right in the middle of the screen it looks like a little black leg let's pull it out and take a look it's one of those days my wife will say what are you doing down in the garage dear well, i'm finding bits of critters in some dirt i've got it Okay, there's exhibit one. Oh, it could be anything to me. It looks a bit spidery. It's only small. It's black. It looks a bit bindy, but it might be something totally different. And there's something green there. I think that's something plastic fantastic. I don't think that's organic or critter. I had hopes about that. I think I'll just pull that out of the tank. It's a distraction. I'm pretty sure that's not mantis. There's some green here in the tank. Uh, I believe this is foliage. Okay, there's another piece there. Unfortunately, that's not mantis either. I can see a cricket here. It's in bad shape. It's missing a leg. I don't know whether these guys are cannibalistic, but it could be the serial killer. My son's curious what I'm up to. It's quite a cold night here in Australia. Uh, where's the spiders? Uh, I put a praying mantis in there. Okay, then where's the mantis? That's what I'm trying to work out. That's what I'm looking for. What do you think's happened to the mantis? Hmm, I, I'm not sure. Have you got a theory? Hmm, I don't know. Probably that cockroach. Do you think the cockroach did it? Not sure. Probably search it up on Google or Fluffy did. <laughs> there you go. Fluffy did it. Yeah, that makes sense. Fluffy, did you do it? She looks guilty, doesn't she? I've just put a close-up lens on my camera and I'm just going to scan through the tank here nice and slow and I just want to point out that this isn't looking very obvious to me. The mystery of the tank is going to be, well, it might remain a mystery. I wished I'd put a camera on this now, like a time-lapse camera, and then maybe I would have seen the dynamic of what was going on. So I'll just scan across here, going up the middle here now. Maybe the audience are seeing things that I can't see. There could be components there of some critter. I'll tell you what, it's just a big jumble, or it looks like a big jumbled mess. And of course, there's other dead crickets in there. A lot of the crickets have actually dug in, and they're in the soil, they've gone underground. Okay, about to scan across to the top here. And oh, I didn't expect the praying mantis to basically get vaporized. And I did some Google search about, well, cockroaches eating praying mantises. It always spins the other way. No one talks about 
well, basically a cockroach taking out a praying mantis. It's always the mantis eating the cockroach. Justin, at last pass down, I noticed this, and it's another insight into what's going on in the tank. It's a cricket, but it's missing its front bit. Okay, its head's gone, the back bit's there. So whoever is the, uh, well, whoever's having fun in here is having lots of it. Nasty, nasty work. What I'll do is I'm just going to come along and I'm going to tease through the top layer of soil with this because uh, what may have happened is parts of the mantis may have fallen down. Another cricket down here has basically picked it off. I'm not going to show you all of this. It's funny, I see black things and I'm straight away I think of Bindi. I'm looking really looking for mantis components. It's a little bit like looking for a needle in a haystack. And just let me do this. I won't video at all. Uh, and if I, if I do find something, I'll show you what I found. The problem for me here is it really needs a trained eye, someone who knows what they're looking at, someone who's, well, an entomologist. And to be one of those people, my crockies, you would have done quite a lengthy time uh, studying critters because there's, oh, there's a curious thing. Now let's take a look at that. That there is uh, a woody or a cockroach wing. Okay, because as I found things in the garden, I was throwing them in for Bindi. Yes, I'll keep searching. It's a little bit like an archaeological dig, and it was Spider Tank uh, 2.0, so I'm, um, well, really going back in time. I'm seeing there's a lot of critter stuff here, a lot of the black beetles. Uh, but of course, the thing that I'm really looking for, well, I'm hoping it's green, there's a great big thing there. There's a thing that I uncovered before. That was, that was up the top, whatever that thing is there. I'll get rid of that. Oh, I think it's um, it's a fruitless exercise. I, I don't think I'm going to strike any gold in this dig. I'll start to put all this back together. Uh, well, one thing we don't have to do now, we don't have to name the mantis because, well, the mantis has uh, gone to another dimension. I'll try and do this as properly as I can. And I'll get the veggies and stuff back in, even the chocos that don't go anywhere. Remember the old saying of the apple pies at McDonald's? Well, when we were kids, we called them choco pies. Hmm. So the important dates was uh, the mantis went in with Bindi uh, back on the 25th of May. I hope I'm right there. Okay. Uh, and then by the 28th, uh, Bindi had vaporized. And we were assuming that the mantis had done the work. Maybe the mantis did. Maybe the mantis did it. Maybe it was something... Far more evil, and then by the 30th, my crikeys, the wondrous mantis uh, basically disappeared. And I think I can get this stuff in here like this. Yeah, nice mixed colors in there, beautiful, isn't it? Like a piece of art. This is the last bit to do. Um, yeah, the cockroach loves living in there, and it's been quite a naughty little boy or girl. That's the thing, I don't know if it is a boy or a girl, <laughs> hopefully, someone can tell me. And it's in here, it's a quite a sizable thing because we, we think it's been eating lots of things. And I'll just very gently uh, put it back to its home. Watch out Cricket, that cockroach is a psycho! And just remember, the cockroach has been in here a long time and Bindi presented no trouble to it. Hmm, says much about the cockroach, doesn't it? I better put the cockroaches home in the right spot and round the right way. And uh, what I need to ask you to do for me... <laughs> Is, well, we're not naming the mantis, we've got to name the cockroach. What's a good name for that killer cockroach? I don't think there is anyone who would have said to me, Leo, in the end, you're going to end up with basically a giant cockroach as the last critter standing. I'm pretty sure no one has said that. It was Redback Spider Home 2.0. The last remaining Redback Spider, of course, was Bindi the Redback Spider. She was a survivor. And she had the home for quite some time by herself. Then I changed it up. I added the praying mantis. Within a couple of days, Bindi had disappeared. And then a couple of days later, and this was the shock horror to me, the praying mantis has also disappeared. Virtually without a trace. Now, I'm thinking it's the cockroach. Maybe I've just proven to you the cockroach is the most awesome critter in the world. Maybe they are the ultimate survivors by looking at this. Maybe there's something else going on in here. But... When I saw that there was no praying mantis in here this morning, I thought to myself, I can't believe this. And it made me look very carefully at what was going on inside the tank. Maybe I've showed components of a praying mantis. I really don't know if I've found parts of it, but I was very surprised. Well, 
surprised to find there was no Bindi the Redback Spider left when she disappeared, and basically, from what I can see, no Praying Mantis. So in the end, all we've got to do is name the cockroach. Great. What have I got in the end of all this? A pet cockroach. Wow. How fantastic. It's not really what I wanted to have, but in the end, that's the way it has played out. Time to read some comments. Often the audience knows way more than me, and I learn lots from what they say. First off, Jimmy Daniel says, Too bad you didn't record it. It's the first time they're at back lost. That's relating to Bindi disappearing in the tank and something happened. I think we all need to understand, and we're all starting to understand, that YouTube today is totally different to, say, YouTube from a few years back, and massively different versus YouTube when it was up and running many, many years back. Some producers can get away with Blue Murder. I think you know the few that I'm talking about there, yet the bulk of the other producers get smacked down with age restrictions and whatnot. I've been smacked down with so many age restrictions, demonetizations. It's not funny. It's too risky to show stuff that I would like to show you these days. I'm very sorry. Master Red uh, says something there which probably tacks on to something I just said and that'll get me in trouble if I read this comment out or it'll be flagged. Isaac Sleeman, hope I've said it right there, is one of the many people who spotted what looked like the Praying Mantis egg case that was laid up inside the metal structure. Many people saw that. I didn't see it. To me, it looked like some crusty thing, but well done to the people who saw it. I did ask for predictions of what was going to happen with the Praying Mantis, and BMR Studios has written this here. I'll read the first bit. You can read the rest. Bindi's ghost comes back from the death, and it goes on there with some more haunting sort of stories. Very well done with that. This next comment's a beauty. One of the best I've read for a long time. Micah B says this. I wonder if Bindi may have been close to or fresh after a molt. Spiders will shed their skin in the growing phase. When they're in that process, they basically can't do anything because all their legs are bound up and caught. That is a very, very insightful comment there. That may have been what's going on, but I didn't see a spider skin. Because normally when they molt, there'll be the little skin left behind. Mind you, there was near next to nothing left behind. The next comment from Scott Johnson says, I have a bad feeling that the Manus has died shortly after eating Bindi. Well, that's sort of what happened. That's sort of exactly what happened. But it's such a mystery. If only we knew more about it. This next comment from Candy Reese, and this is a beauty as well. The crickets will eat Master Mantis. I have seen crickets kill Tarantula. The Mantis wouldn't stand a chance. Those crickets may be very, very evil. Okay, so there's another bend on what's going on there. I'm sort of been talking about the cockroach. It could be those menacing crickets. Another great comment here from Joe Marabito. Crickets are omnivores and may have eaten any scraps that were left over. So we've got the cockroach, which is an omnivore. Those crickets are omnivores as well. That's basically they eat anything in sight. That could be totally correct as well. I like this comment from Scissor10. The Manus gives birth to a hybrid Manus spider brood. How frippin' scary is that? And the last comment here from Jody Smith. It says, think bot the Roach and Manus are going to fight and end up killing each other. Well, one of them has gone, but another one is still with us. But that's a great insightful comment as well. There was another comment that I can't found because the studio beta. Someone said one of Bindi's legs was caught up in the web. I'd actually videoed it, but didn't ID it at the time. You may be correct, but sadly I can't find your comment now. And let me finish off by showing you why I'm having trouble seeing the comments, all thanks to YouTube Studio Stupid Beta. I've been trying to get to a comment to, as part of this video, which talks about someone spotting Redback Spider Leg in that other video, and YouTube Studio Beta just locks up like we see there. It's got a scrolling thing across the top of the page, and it won't load any more comments. It's almost like those older comments, well, they don't exist. I've sent screenshots, complaints and whatnot. YouTube Studio Beta is absolute rubbish. Uh, you've got to dump this thing, guys. It's killing us. I've just reloaded the page, and where it all seems to fall apart is if I scroll down here, get to this bottom bit, and if I go to show more comments, then we'll come back to waiting, 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 and waiting, and waiting, and, well, I just don't see them in Studio Beta. I... I basically can't see all the comments when I'm looking at this end of the site. Studio Beta fails for me again, so you jump back to Studio Classic, you get one of these forms, you fill out, you tell them what's wrong, but I've totally lost count of the times that I've told them of problems in Studio Beta. 
nothing seems to get fixed, nothing ever seems to get any better. As if that's going to make any difference, 